Hi friends, welcome back to CADDABLE. This is Engineer Brian Omar and today we will make this block in AutoCAD and this will be practice exercise 4 in AutoCAD and I am using AutoCAD uh, 2018 and if you are using a blue version or a uh, future version so you can still follow this tutorial. So uh, here is you can see the uh, top view of this part and here you can see the front view. So we will make these uh, uh, two views to make this uh, uh, isometric part basically uh, we will use orthographic views to create the isometric part so let's go to your autocad and first i will put off grids and now i will draw uh, let's say i will start from the top view and uh, first i will set my units so let's write unit command i'll go to a units and here you can see uh, decimal uh, precision i will check this one and you can see here millimeters uh, you can change angles as well and select ok so let's make uh, uh, one circle here and you can see that uh, I will start from the top view let's make one circle here having diameter 25 and having radius 25 let's make two circles basically let's go to the AutoCAD and uh, let's select circle centered with diameter let's make one circle 25 let's zoom in and let's make another circle this time center with radius and it will be concentric and i will make 25 okay uh, now i will draw one line here 30 let's go to a line command snap this point and you can see that my snapping options are on so let's make two lines let's go to a line command snap this point and i will make one line here uh, let's uh, put on this option so i can uh, make straight lines let's go to a line command i will make one line here having dimension 30 and another line here having dimension 30 okay uh, now i can trim this portion uh, this circle uh, that is r25 so let's go to the trim command and i will select this one i will select this one this one press enter key and i will delete this one okay and uh, let's make one line here and then uh, you can see that it is a total 100 so it would be 100 minus 30 70. so let's go to the line command first i will join this to here and then i will create one line here having dimension 70 okay similarly i will make one here and you can use mirror option as well and i will join this to here okay uh, now you can see that we have a chamfer here uh, 15 by 15 which means that this angle would be 45 uh, we can make this chamfer in 2d and we can make this chamfer in 3d so i will suggest you to make this chamfer in 3d okay you can make make in uh, 2d as well and here you can see that we have a rib here and we will create this rib separately so let's extrude this and uh, first i will use this option to convert this uh, orthographic to isometric uh, you can use this option and now you can see that uh, your object is in isometric although it is uh, still uh, 2d because uh, uh, there is no thickness uh, we can rotate or orbit using this option and uh, let's extrude uh, this portion this one to 50 you can see that this height is 50 that's why i have created this separate line so first you have to switch uh, to uh, 3d modeling and here you can see this uh, gear option uh, workspace switching and if you don't find this option just go to your customize and uh, you will find this option here you, you can see that workspace switching is uh, on so let's go to this gear symbol and i will change my uh, workspace from drafting and annotation to 3d modeling and here you can see that uh, the icons are different of 3d modeling and drafting here we can use this extrude command but uh, for extrusion you have to join uh, these contours and uh, uh, I will mostly use uh, press pull command when uh, I am dealing with uh, 
uh, AutoCAD 3D. So let's go to the principal command. I will snap this contour and I will drag this to 50 mm. Okay, uh, it is still in wireframe. We can change this to let's go to the 2D wireframe and here let's say I can change this to uh, shades of gray. Okay. Now I will extrude this portion uh, up to here to 15. You can see that. Let's go to here, press pull command again, and this time I will select this contour and I will drag it to 15 mm. Okay. And uh, now I have to add a rib, and before adding rib, uh, I can use chamfer. Uh, so let's chamfer these edges, and here you can see that. Uh, 15 mm here and 15 mm here. So if the distance is same, so it would be a 45 degree chamfer. So let's create it and this time I will switch this to solid and here you can see that chamfer edge option. These commands are 3D commands. So let's select this one chamfer and uh, for the distance I will select 15 mm. Second distance would be 15 as well and now I will select this edge and also this edge press enter and press enter again and now you can see that uh, two chamfers are created and now we can delete these lines after creating chamfer now uh, i will create this one rib and here you can see that this rib height is uh, 50 minus 15 35 and its length is 100 minus 30, 70. Here you can see that 100 uh, is here and 30 is here. So 100 minus 30 will give you 70. So let's create this rib and I will create this rib 19 millimeters away from this edge. Okay. So let's go to AutoCAD and here you can see that I can rotate my model. So first I will create one line. Let's go to a line command. And uh, for creating any sketch on uh, uh, any face of 3D in AutoCAD, you have to switch this one. Let's go to your customization and you have to uh, click this option dynamic input. So you can uh, make a sketch on any face of uh, 3D model in AutoCAD. So let's go to a line command. I will snap this vertex and I will make one line having dimension 19 millimeters. Okay. Now I will create a straight line having dimension 35 so it is already 35 and uh, now i will create another line and uh, this dimension first i will snap this point this dimension would be 70 mm okay and now i will join this point to this one to make rip now i can extrude this rip and uh, the extrusion is 12 or the width of this rip is 12 millimeters so let's go to here uh, principal command and uh, here uh, you can see that it is not uh, taking our contour so we can rectify this uh, using a command called join so let's select this one uh, let's select this line sorry and let's drag this to let's say here and now i will delete the unnecessary lines first and uh, let's select this line, select this line, select this line. I'll go to a command called join. Select this one. And now you can see that these lines are joined to make uh, a triangle. Let's go to a uh, press pull and now uh, it should work. So select this one and now I can drag this. So this thickness is 12 and uh, select cancel. And now I can use uh, option called move, select this one, I'll go to the move, I will select this point and I will move this point to here. And now you can see that our 3D model is ready, but uh, it is consisted of uh, three parts. This one, I can move this separately, I can move this separately and I can move this separately. So basically we have to join all these to make uh, a solid model. So we have a command called union. So let's go to a union command 
uh, I will select this solid body. I will select this solid body and I will select this rib and select OK. And now uh, if I move this part, so all three bodies uh, will move together because they are united to make one solid body. Let's move this gizmo to here. Now you can see that these three bodies are moving together. So uh, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, created this uh, model and uh, let's say if I want to check the top view of this part. So let's select this one from view cube and now you can see that this top part. You can see this view and uh, we can see let's say front view. Let's go to your orbit and let's select this option front view. Uh, let's delete this one and now you can see the front view of this. Uh, you cannot see hidden lines because uh, we have created a solid here. We can use wireframe or uh, uh, some other uh, viewing option. So that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you like it and if you have any questions, any queries related to this or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos. Thank you.